Okay, hi, this is Kevin with ATVTracks.net. Uh, Camelplast in 2014 changed their design of their anti-rotation system to make it a little easier to install. Um, there has been a little confusion on the rear uh, angle of attack settings, so today we're going to explain to you exactly how to do that. Um, just for demonstration purposes, here is the old style of anti-rotation arm, uh, which was basically a threaded rod, uh, two nuts, spring, and a, and a rubber bushing, and in order to lengthen or shorten the rod, you either moved up or moved back the nuts, and once you had the correct length set, you would one and a half turns up against the spring tension. Now, they have a new rod, which all you do is have the spring with the nut up against it and torque it to a certain setting. The length is now adjusted by the tie rod in, which is extra long, and it either goes in or out, and that is much easier for people to understand how to adjust their uh, anti-rotation arm correctly, uh, because now you know when you turn this out it's longer, when you turn it in it's shorter, and that's easier for people to understand uh, than the two nuts on the old design. On the rear, Camelplast talks about uh, setting your rear anti-rotation arm 90 degrees uh, many people get confused with this. Essentially all you do, once you mount this track to your rear of your machine and you have your brackets on your A-arm, you adjust the length of this until it lines up with the hole on your bracket. Once that is set, and you keep these bolts loose until you do that, you get it set to the right position with the correct length. So if it's too short, then you adjust it out and get it set up, put your bolt through once you've got it done, and then you tighten up your swivel bracket because now it's at the correct angle with your bracket on your machine. Once everything is set and to the right length, then you tighten up your bolts here and here, and you're done. And that's as simple as that. Your spring tension on the rear is already set from the factory, and you don't even have to mess with that. The correct torque spedding is set in your manual, so if you have any concerns or questions as to how tight to set that spring tension, it is in your owner's manual.